What's up everyone, CP Moddy here, back with another video. Now, just like a lot of you guys, I also do use Windows 10, mainly because I have a computer that has to have Windows 10 running it. And for the past quite a few years, I have not enjoyed my experience. But with the creator's update finally installed on my machine, is Windows 10 actually good yet? Now, one of my biggest issues with Windows 10 was just the inconsistency and the unreliability of the operating system. Everything from small bugs here and there and just things that didn't make sense to bigger problems like RAM management issues. I had a lot of problems running Windows 10 on my laptop and also too on my editing desktop workstation. Now, still today, I run Windows 8.1 on my editing station because I do find it a little bit more reliable, but Windows 10 Creators Update has come down the line and I've used it for the past couple weeks and I have to say, I'm fairly impressed at that. But what have they really changed to, well, change my mind from thinking Windows 10 was a pile of crap to something that's, well, a little bit better than a pile of crap? First and foremost is 4K scaling. This right here is the Dell XPS 15 with the 4K resolution touchscreen and has been the bane of my existence for the past year or so, mainly because Windows 10 scaling, 8.1 scaling, and just about every Windows scaling has been absolutely rubbish. That is, up until recently. Part of the creator's update actually enabled a new scaling option that basically allows you to run it at 1080p window and then on the fly upscale it to 4K, which is something that I've been asking for for just about ever. That basically means when I fire up a program that doesn't necessarily support 4K scaling properly natively in Windows, what I can do is just render it in 1080 and on the fly upscale it to 4K and have basically the same experience. There is a little bit of blurriness and a little bit of artifacting when you do scale it up like that, but I have to say it is so much better than trying to use a program just like this versus like this. So it definitely has brought a lot of improvements to 4K scaling. Now scaling is definitely still not perfect, but at least there is some sort of workaround for now, and hopefully in the next update that Windows does go ahead and actually release, it actually goes ahead and fixes scaling just that little bit more. Privacy is also too one of those things that have gotten just a little bit better whilst I was never really too worried about privacy because personally everything through this runs through a VPN and nothing really personal is done on this laptop. I was never really concerned too much about privacy. It is nice to see now there is a little bit more control over what we can do with our privacy settings and I do have to say it is just that little bit better. Speaking of settings and controls, the settings menu and application have also too gotten just that little bit better, with things like personalization also too getting just, again, a little bit better. It overall just feels in terms of the settings, customization and personalization of Windows 10 has just gotten that little bit better that definitely makes me a little bit more happy. Whilst I personally haven't changed too much when it comes to Windows 10, at the end of the day it is nice to have those settings available and it's also too nice to have the settings application start to make somewhat of sense to me. Whilst I do personally just prefer to run everything through control panel, at the end of the day the settings application's gotten a bit of a facelift and just like the rest of my ideas of this computer has just gotten that little bit better. Built-in applications again have just gotten that little bit better, where things like the mail and calendar application have started to personally work a lot better for me, being able to sync up stuff like that and I actually have started using it almost on a regular basis. Personally though, I'm a person who just has a ton of Chrome tabs open so I already have my Google Calendar open and my Gmail open. but but it is nice to have an application that will work with the notification center and just work overall. Again, customization in those applications are definitely a lot better and overall it comes back to my whole general idea of it just being just that little bit better. Then finally, overall stability of the system has gotten, well, actually a lot better than what has been before. Windows 10.0 was just a pile of rubbish when it came to stability, but today it's definitely a lot better. Since doing the creator's update a couple weeks ago, I've not had a single blue screen and I've also also too had very few programs crash just on their own. It's always been because I was doing something to make them actually crash. The stability there has also too gotten a lot better. RAM management has also too stepped up as that was a major problem for me, especially on my editing desktop, where I would get to 31.5 meg uh, gigabytes of RAM being used out of my 32 gigabytes and the system used to blue screen. Now on the Windows 10 creators update, I can get to about 98, 99% RAM usage without anything happening too drastically. Once I do get over that limit, uh, things do go downhill really fast, but at the end of the day, 
RAM management has definitely gotten a lot better, and overall just management of resources has gotten a lot better. So far, I have not had any of those days where you've been on battery and all of a sudden the CPU starts maxing out because it thinks it needs to do a virus scan. I found that defining power options have also too gotten a lot better, and overall just the whole stability, usability, and just way the system runs itself has gotten so much better with the Windows 10 Creators update. And whilst it may not be a perfect operating system, and whilst I still have my complaints and questions as to some of the things Microsoft is doing for the first time in 699 days, 7 hours, 31 minutes and 50 seconds, not like I'm counting or anything, I can actually say that I don't mind using Windows 10 on a daily basis. I almost went as far as actually replacing my laptop and my desktop with Mac computers because I was just so sick of the nonsense that was brought along with Windows 10. Thanks to this update, I can definitely say I'm a lot more happy with it and wouldn't mind using it for a little while longer. Whilst gaming hasn't seen too much of a performance increase or sort of any increase really with the updates, I have to say for just about everything else that isn't gaming, it has definitely gotten just that little bit better. And the best bit is I haven't had to pay for anything. I've literally had the same hardware, same software, just some updates and things have definitely gotten a lot better. And for that, I'm really happy with that. But overall, definitely I'm a lot more satisfied with Windows 10 today than I was when I first picked up the laptop. I was very close to jumping over to the Mac platform, but did give it a few more months, which is when the Creators update came out and definitely made the overall experience a lot better. Whilst definitely a lot of people are experiencing a terrible time with the Creators update with it actually bricking some computers, if it actually works and goes through, it can improve a lot of the system. Built-in applications, stability, and overall use case of the computer have definitely gotten just that little bit better, and I have to say, with a few more updates, Windows 10 might actually be an operating system that I'll be happy to use and might actually persuade me to completely ditch my old Mac ways and be a full-time PC user. But nevertheless, guys, that is what my thoughts are of Windows 10 at this point. Is it any good? Definitely. It has stepped up a long way from where it was, but... I would have to wait a few more updates before I would call it a good operating system. But do let me know what you think of Windows 10 down below. Do you use a Mac? Do you use Windows 10 only for gaming? Or do you just refuse to use Windows 10 at all? Do let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments sections. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time for another video.